So this is equipment we can use to look at electron diffraction. What we have over here is an EHT power supply which goes up to several thousand volts. Um, we then have a very uh, kind of delicate glass tube. These cost about £700. At the back we have a spot which you can just about see is glowing. And here we have the thermionic emission of electrons. Next to that we have an anode which is this kind of cylindrical piece of metal uh, which we hold at a high voltage to accelerate the electrons. And then in front of that, you can just about see in this kind of metal grid here, we have a very thin piece of graphite. And because of that uh, crystalline structure, what that's going to do is it's going to hopefully diffract these electrons. Now, um, the electrons hit the screen over here, and they then uh, cause an emission of light. So we don't see the colour of electrons because, you know, they're colourless. But what we see is where the electrons land, we see a little green spot. Now, if we turn out the lights... Now, as we increase the anode voltage... What this does is that it increases the kinetic energy of the electrons and that means their momentum increases and therefore their wavelength decreases. And what we see forming on the screen are these concentric circles, okay? And these concentric circles are the diffraction pattern caused by the electrons moving through the graphite and being deflected. So this is a really nice example of showing this kind of wave particle duality.